last. I had hunted my prey to his very lair. The Hilden Gate was before me, from which the Hilden General, in his guise of the Saraphan Lord, planned to bring forth his alien armies and destroy us all. Turn, vile demon! Your reckoning day has come! Okay. Did you think you could defeat me? All your plans are revealed, together with your true nature. Turn and enter the gate you have fashioned and join your kind before I obliterate it. Or stay, and be destroyed upon its rubble. I confess I did not expect to find you here, at the heart of my endeavor. You are indeed a more capable adversary than I have thought possible. You can ponder that thought when you have made your choice. Return to exile, or death. Do you think the game is over? Do you think it will end with me? Have you not wondered why so many of your trusted attention, time and again, bend their knees before me, accept me as their lord, and join their cause to mine? Cowards and traitors deserve no second thoughts, only their complete annihilation. Did it not occur to you? that perhaps my cause, and not yours, the cause of right, of justice. That your ambition to rule this world is but the youthful craving of a petty noble who has gained too much power, but never enough. Silence, demon. Your need to corrupt is only too apparent. But every traitor that you have turned to your will from my side, even Uma, your latest spy, is dead. Uma. I have no spy called Uma. You lie! You and your damn stone! Why won't you just die? blood you built your evil plans. What could be more righteous than to take our revenge and your freedom from the same source? Tortured eons of suffering are too good for you, vampire. But not for you, Hilden, who has dared to set a corrupting foot upon this world after your banishment. Return to the demon dimension in which you belong. And by what right, cursed one? Did you send my kind to that place of evil? By what right did you lay on us the curse that drove us from the light and made us predators of humankind? It was justice for our banishment from the world. You see what it has made of our once fair race. I see you have taken your true form at last. Then go and see what it makes of you. 
Cain, the sword! I sentence you to the hell of your own making. A prisoner for all time. No! Cain! And now, it is your turn. Reach that place of banishment again. I will be waiting. <laughs> you will not live that long. I have lived long enough to dispose of you. Hilden were sealed again in their exile. All of Nosgoth lay at last at my feet. Where then was my jubilation? Where the joys of the Conqueror, victorious at last after so long a war? Could so great an achievement, reached at last after centuries of struggle, be undercut by so small a thing as doubt? Uma. What was it she said to me in that fateful moment when she took from me the next stone? How would my rule differ from that of the Saraphan Lord? If you had lived, Uma, you would have learned the difference. You should have trusted me.
Tell them, Cain is coming. And I will deliver them all. Go! Cheese! I have no money. I'll cut your ears off. They took it from me already. Slit your cheeks. If I had anything. And then cut your throat. From the river, trout from the sea, squid from the ocean. Fresh fish, no magic tainted local catch here. Fresh fish, just in from the fleet. Never had a customer second yet. Boy, fish never look at you like they've seen the demons of hell before they died. Fresh fish. What's the news? Is it? It is. Your wish is granted, Sturge. Vampires have attacked the slum station. All the wards in the area are down. You'll be facing the vampires at last. They're certain it's vampires. Use your wits. Ward gates only stop vampires. Why would a human shut them down? Well, it could be humans working for vampires. Right. There's a house in the next street I've had my eye on. The widow lives there. With three daughters. Yes. I know the place. Those girls could be traitors. They could be working for vampires. Or selling goods in the black market. We should go question them. It's our duty. Do some searching? Thorough searching. I'll pass the word to the next station. Simply fantastic. Their use of imagery mixed with impressionistic neo-modernism was simply breathtaking. I like the colors. Oh, yes, yes, but what was really stunning was the pathos of the protagonist. The way he couldn't decide whether to allow fate to sweep him forward, or if he should thwart destiny's cruel end. Oh, yes, that was interesting. It reminds me of Sergio's use of Deus Ex Machina in order to resolve dilemmas of the ego. I'm hungry. Yes, yes. Hey you, I'm in hell, but at least I don't have to work on video game development. <laughs> It's a nightmare!